African champions, the Super Falcons of Nigeria, yesterday arrived in Realm France, a venue for their first game of the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup in France. The Falcons departed the Avita Resort in Bad Tadzmanzor in Austria, where they held a two week residential camping that was ahead of their eighth FIFA Women's World Cup finals. The Falcons will play Norway in their first match at the State Auguste de Lerne in Realm on Saturday, June the 8th, before other Group A matches against Korea Republic in Grenoble on June the 12th and host nation France in Rennes on June the 17th. Well, Mali has qualified for the last 16 of the FIFA on the 20 World Cup in Poland after defeating former champions Argentina on penalties. The African champions uh, trailed the oh, South Americans in the fourth minute, uh, but equalized in the 69th minute. Argentina took the lead in the first minutes of extra time through an own goal, but the African side never say never attitude ensured they got back into the game in the 120th minute of extra time. Mali eventually secured a, a ticket to the last 16 with a 5-4 victory from penalties. Mali win 5-4 on penalties. Well, in other matches played uh, yesterday, USA beat France 3-2, while South Korea edged Japan by a long goal to reach the quarterfinals. Well, still in football, but back home now, Iyimba defeated the rental rivals in Rangers 1-0 in the opening game of the Nigeria Professional Football League Championship playoff at the Agege Stadium on Tuesday. Joseph Osidiae scored the winning goal for the People's Elephants five minutes after the break. Eiba dominated the opening exchanges but failed to break down their opponent's uh, defense. Of course, uh, Osidiae put Eiba ahead in the 50th minute of the encounter. The former Warrior Wolves winger got the better of his marker before blasting a shot into the net. Rangers fought hard afterwards, but were unable to find an equalizer. Well, we are, we are coming here to win. As I said, uh, uh, with Rangers, it's, uh, it's always a history behind uh, the game. And, uh, and this season, we, we share the points in this season. And as I said earlier on, uh, uh, this, uh, this playoff will give us a better opportunity to settle the score. And, uh, and I guess we've seen what happened. So, so we are happy with, uh, with the three points we had. Well, uh, the game has been played, won and lost. I think I want to see it as a temporary setback. It's not a disaster. Uh, please, we still have, uh, I think uh, we need to go back and take positives from it. And uh, we have four games left to make statements. I hope and pray that we'll get it right. Well, elsewhere, Canopillers and Aqua United battled to a thrilling 2 0 draw. David Ibuka gave Pillars the lead in the third minute of the keenly contested encounter. Aqua United recovered from the early setback and got the equalizer through Ndifreke Efiong a minute after the half, time, half hour mark. Now, Pillars went ahead again three minutes later, courtesy of a fine strike by Nyema Mwagwa. Uh, of course, Aqua United equalized almost immediately with uh, God's power and Nefjok uh, grabbing the equalizer in the 37th minute. Well, Liverpool will travel to Qatar in December to compete at the FIFA Club World Cup after the Gulf State was named as the new host. The annual tournament featuring the champions of six continents will take place in the winter with uh, Champions League winners Liverpool entering at the semi-final stage. Qatar will hold the next two editions of the tournament in, the in 2019 and 2020. It will also host the World Cup in 2022. Now, Real Madrid won uh, last year's uh, World Club World Cup, beating the United Arab Emirates Al Ain 4-1 in the final in December for their third title in as many years. Also transfer stories now, Daniel Storridge and Alberto Moreno 
will leave Liverpool this summer when their contracts expire. Sturridge joined the club from Chelsea in January 2013, scoring 67 goals in 160 appearances for Liverpool, while Moreno played 141 times after moving to Merseyside from Sevilla in August 2014. Would have struggled for game time in recent seasons, but manager Jurgen Klopp paid tribute to the pair who leave Anfield as uh, Champions League winners following Saturday's 2 0 win over Tottenham. Meanwhile, Everton captain Phil Jakielka has confirmed he will be leaving the club later this month. Uh, Jakielka moved to the Goodison Park from Sheffield United in 2007 and has made 385 appearances for Everton. But that's it in sports.